Roll an eight. How's it going guys? It is Fox and welcome to another DICE video or the updated DICE video if you will. The video that everyone has been asking me to do a remake of. Actually only three of you. And here it is. I will be showing you my entire DICE collection. All my D20s, Magic D20s, D6s, coins too. Uh, DICE bags, carrying cases, whatever, whatever. Um, however, I will not be saying the words... I've shown you this already, or you've seen this in the last video. I want to film this like this is the first time I've done a dice video. Reason being, every time I do a collection video, I tend to say the words, oh, you've seen this already, or you, this is in my last video. I don't want to do that. I just want to pretend like this is a fresh start, and I can show you my entire collection without having to worry about, you know, showing the same thing in three different videos. So I have four big trays, really big trays, of dice to show off. But before I do that, I want to give a little promo to... Uh, a app that has not paid me to give a promo to. Um, I just think this app is really badass. So this was in an Ashens video a while ago. It is an app called Snups. And that's my profile. Wait, there's, there's my icon. Uh, Snups is an app where you can show off your collections. And if you know me, I have a lot of collections. So I have my profile here. I will link to in the description if you want to go subscribe to me. I'm posting just random shit I have. I have a lot of collections, so this will probably get full up. You can make shelves and you can excuse me, I burp, you can put up pictures of your collections. I have some dice taken with a really good camera. A little bit of photography there. As well as this, which I just put up now for the video. Um, this will be showing you high, uh, high quality images of the Pokemon dice, which I have over there. So yeah, Snups, really cool website, as well as an app uh, where you can just post collections of stuff. Let us begin with my everyday carry, if you will, of dice. The pencil pouch thing. Pouch bag. I don't know what to call it. It's a pencil case. I just carry a lot, or an artist pencil case because it's stupid expensive. But uh, I just carry dice in it because it's kind of perfect for that. It fits everywhere. And here it is. This is what I take with me every Sunday when I go to uh, Magic Day or if I go to an RPG or whatever. Got a bunch of D6s, casino D6s, ones that have holes in them. So they're probably not great for rolling. For a reason, I assume, and ones that don't have holes in them, which are kind of hard to find. I gotta go to flea markets or thrift shops to find them, but uh, yeah, they're really cool. Really, really thick, and you can see them practically from across the table. That's why I use them. They're very easy to see. You don't have to worry about, you know, not knowing if the guy has two counters or 17. Like, you can see it very, very far away. I got a couple of Magic Countdown D20s. These two specifically are from Ixalan because I love the logo for that. It is a captain's wheel. Love it. I have two from the Vault Angel ones. Probably my favorite from the Vault set for a die. And then I got the ones from Ammonkett. Yeah. These are two D20s from Ammonkett. I have a lot more D20s, which you'll see in a minute. I also have these uh, two polyhedral sets in here. Um, again, I don't know what company these are from. They're from a company that my store sells. I think they're D&D &D exclusive or Pathfinder exclusive. I really don't know. And um, I've been looking for a while. One fell on the floor. Here's an echoey voice. And there it is. And yeah, that's what I take with me every Sunday whenever I go play Magic or if I go to an RPG. Let us begin with case number one. I hit the camera. The big ass D6 and D20 Magic case. So I have a lot of casino dice. I have too many casino dice. It's a problem. Uh, I didn't buy all of these at a casino. I bought a lot of them at a flea market. Most of these Harrah's ones I got at flea markets. Uh, for, like, dirt cheap. They put smaller holes in them, which is a little weird. See you know what I mean? Like, Caesar's Palace, they drill bigger holes in them. Oh, they drill holes in them, by the way, uh, so you can't use them again. They're called canceled dice. So, when they drill a hole in them, they basically give the right to sell them in a gift shop, so you're not wor they're not worried that you can put them in an actual craps game. Um, but yeah, the Harris ones, I got a flea market for dirt cheap. These are from Showboat, uh, which is closed as far as a casino goes. Uh, they have reopened recently as just a hotel, which in Atlantic City... Oh, the oh, the showboat logo rubbed off on that too. Hold on. Yeah, I've used these a lot, you can tell. I wonder if they still have a gift shop. Yeah, probably go get more showboat dice. Oh, wait, there's two more in here. Hold on. We might have a chance to have some pretty good uh, logo. Uh, I think that's the best I got. <laughs> yeah, I've used these a lot. Um, I got these last time the showboat was actually an open casino, so... That shows you how long ago it was. Got some Caesar's Palace dice here. Those are a little bit uh, better printing on the logos. And some Bally's like gift shop dice. These are gift shop dice, these are casino dice. The difference is, these they sell at a gift shop, they don't actually use them at a table. These they use them at a table. 
By the way, sharp corner dice are the best. If you like round corner dice, that's great, but round corner dice are not that fair. You should know that. Sharp corner dice are fair. That's why casinos use them. Think with your head. Uh, these, I think they're used for Baccarat. I'm not sure. I've never played Baccarat. I don't know if it uses cards or if it uses dice. From what I've seen on Google, yes. There's no clear answer to me. Uh, they could be for some other game. I, again, I just don't know. Uh, I have a lot of them for Harrah's. I have a few from Tropicana and Caesars as well. The Tropicana ones are my favorite because they have the twos that look like that. All the other uh, casinos, they have the normal looking twos. I like the way these twos look. They look like, uh, well, they look like balls and that's funny. Plus the D1, or the D1, the one side is uh, really big. And on the Caesar Palace ones, they're not that big. They have their logo around it, which is, you know, makes sense, but still. All right, Magic D20s, got a lot of them, and I kind of color-coded them by mistake. Didn't know that. So I got the salt and pepper thing going on here. That's, uh, I don't know, I, I just prefer these dice over, uh, you know, like dice like these. I don't like this. This is the Simic one from Gate Crash. You can't read numbers on that, but on the black and white ones, you can read the numbers, and I like that. That's exclusively why I use black and white dice in my EDC, EDC bag, Everyday Carry. I um, also have some uh, ornate looking ones here, so this is from uh, Dragon, not Dragon's Maze, Dragons of Tark here. I really wish they would bring that back where they did a couple different versions. I'm pretty sure I have all of the uh, Dragons of Tark here dice. I think, I, I think, was there only four? I don't even remember. Or is this a Dragons of Tark? No, this is our... Yeah, I don't remember if there were four or five different Dragons of Tark here dice. I think there might have been five, one for every... One for every dragon, right? Oh, so maybe I'm missing one. Hmm. Well, I thought I had one. But if there's only four, then I have the whole collection. <laughs> I really don't remember if I'm missing one now. That's gonna bug me. Uh, but yeah, I got another, uh, from the Bald Angels ones in here. Traded a friend for that. The Hour of Devastation dice, which look great, but you can't really... Well, actually, on the viewfinder, I can, I can see the letters perfectly. But in real life, you can't really see the letters. As opposed to, like, one of that. Oh, that one off camera, but... You can kind of make out that that's a 15. Readability. That's the whole That's the whole point when it comes to dice. You want to be able to read them. Bags. Something fell. There we go. Bags. Dice bags. All in a giant bag of holding from Wiz Dice. So I have a lot of Wiz Dice as well as a lot of uh, Wiz Dice. What is it called? Oh, the Bag of Devouring. I, have two, I got two of these, actually, uh, that I got a while ago. Uh, the story behind that is I ordered a Bag of Devouring off eBay. And uh, one of the sets was misprinted. The D6 had a little appendage growing out of it. It wasn't cut right. So I informed the guy on eBay, and he said he'd send me a, a new set, which was great. I thought he was going to send me one set of, like, the smoky one that had the defect on it. He just sent me a whole, like, new set of D20, uh, a whole set of 20 sets. So I have a lot more dice than I intended to. Uh, so I have two of these bags, and I've used them a lot, and they're great. They are very, very strong. They look fucking cool. And when you have a lot of dice in them, they kind of open like that, which is a nice little lotus kind of way to open, so you can grab whatever dice you need. Got a lot of Crown Royal bags. I am not an alcoholic. I just think Crown Royal bags are great. Also, I'm an alcoholic. This is the uh, Crown Royal Maple, which is not great for cooking, by the way. Uh, I use whiskey in cooking very often. Uh, Crown, Royal, uh, Crown Royal Maple is maple-flavored whiskey, and it tastes good, but when you put it in food thinking, oh, it's going to have a nice like maple flavor to your food. No, it doesn't. It just tastes bad. Uh, this is Crown Royal Apple, which my friend gave me. I have never tried Crown Royal Apple. I assume it tastes like Crown Royal Apple. And a small Crown Royal normal size bag. I do like Crown Royal normal. Do I have it over here? I don't. It's over there then. It's probably like half empty. But yeah, Crown Royal is good. Expensive, but at least you get a dice bag out of it. The bag of holding, as you saw, which was holding all the other bags. Get it. Uh, this was the first Wiz Dice 20 set thing which I got. Uh, love it. And the bag is great. Wiz Dice. They don't sponsor me. They should, though. The Star City Games, what did they call, oh, Delver Cheese. Yeah, a friend traded me the Delver Cheese, man, and he also gave me the dice bag with it, too. So, that's pretty cool. I've used this dice bag very often, actually. It's great at holding stuff, like a dice bag should be. Uh, very often, not these, or the Crown Royal bags. They're not designed for dice, so I really can't complain about Every now and then, when they're in their bag, when they're jostled around, they will open. Uh, this one will not open, because it has the sweater thing. I don't know what this is called. A latch? Who knows? This was a bag that was used to hold goggles. Uh, I like it because it has two sections inside. So you got one section for your polyhedrals, and then you have another section for your D6s or whatever you want. 
This is a standard cheap bag of dice you can find at a bag of dice, cheap bag for dice, which you can find at any card store, game store, whatever. I paid about $2 for it. It's fine. It holds a bunch of dice. I just don't like the felt feeling. This was a bag that was used to hold a camera lens. It does not hold dice very well, but it's made of leather or faux leather, and it looks cool. And my favorite bag, probably my dungeon. Oh, I have one over here. This was a bag that was meant to hold perfume. It sucks. The felt sucks. It doesn't hold very well. It's pretty much garbage, but I keep it around because I can't throw stuff out because I'm a hoarder. Anyway, Dungeons and Dragons Dice. This is probably my favorite bag. I got this with a D&D blue set that they used to sell a while ago. I burped again. Uh, I use this all the time. It holds the dice well. It doesn't open in the bag, and I love it. Tier 2. The coins are in here, so I'll be showing you all the coins that I've collected over the years, as well as some of the polyhedral sets. These are the more ornate Chessex sets, some Wiz dice, and then I have uh, the rest of the Wiz dice, as well as the bag of devouring ones on the last section over here. Let's pop it open. Smoke. Uh, so I'll show the coins last. So we have some Wiz dice sets here. The uh, translucent, I like to call them Jolly Rancher. The Jolly Rancher translucent sets, translucent sets, excuse me. Uh, so we got lime, blueberry, and cherry. And you have your good old standard black and white polyhedral set right here. This matches your Monopoly dice if you ever want to turn Monopoly in into an RPG, which can be done. I've seen someone do it. One fun. Uh, you got your Halloween spooky orange dice, your purple non-translucent. Oh, here are the translucent purples. I got to mix these up again. These are grape flavored. You have your non-translucent green, you have your lime flavored, or excuse me, not lime, lemon flavored. Limes are green, this is lime. Your lemon flavored polyhedral sets. These aren't actually flavored, don't, don't eat them if you get them. They're, it's just names that I came up with. They're not food. Uh, you have your pearlescent-ish kind of green. You can kind of see the white in there. It's like slightly pearlescent, but not really. It, it looks very similar to this. When you're holding these, let me get the uh, percentile. When you're holding these together, you can kind of tell the difference. But when they're mixed up in a big batch, it's it's a lot harder. Uh, this is a really cool set that I don't use very often. I probably should. It's like a metallic kind of set. You have your uh, solid red, your solid yellows. You have your slightly pearlescent blue, very similar to these blue. Again, great. You have your chocolate flavored. Again, they're not actually flavored. I can't believe I have to say that. You have these awful Chessex sets, so this now we're getting on to the Chessex sets. This is the worst set of dice I have, hands down. Uh, even even these, even the Paizo, uh, what the fuck are they called, Snake Dragon Skin? I forgot, like the Pathfinder dice, are more readable than this set. I hate these dice. I have them because someone gave them to me. I hate them, they suck. Uh, these are from the Pathfinder card game. So I have two sets of the Pathfinder card game, and I play them very often. It is really fun if you never played it. Uh, Pathfinder, what is it called? Oh, it's called Wrath of Righteous and Rise of the Rune Lords. Rise of the Rune Lords is the first one. I think Wrath of Righteous is the third or second one. I don't really know. But yeah, it's, it's like a card game that emulates the RPG. Not well, but it's a fun card game in its own right. I um, mean, yeah, these came from that those boxes over there. I have them separately because... The card game is good at storing cards. The big box is good at storing cards, but it's not really good at storing dice, so I put them in here. Uh, these are some Chinese dice that are supposed to be glow-in-the-dark. I bought off eBay for like a buck or two, and they don't glow-in-the-dark, but they look cool anyway. They're like a raspberry or grape and blueberry flavor. They're neat enough. These are a uh, sports team dice. I don't know why I call them the sports team. They look like a sports team. I think the Patriots... I don't know sports, guys. Like, it's, it's all sport ball to me. But uh, they just look like they were part of a sport team. Football or footbat. Hawk bat. I don't, I don't know sports. These are Gummy Shark version 2. Get out of there. Gummy Shark version 2. And Gummy Shark version 1. A.K.A. the far superior. But they don't roll as well for me because they hate me. I always roll like 2s on that D20. It's weird. This is one of the first sets I've ever owned. A Chessex Spackle Green set. Love it. It's very, I don't know why, but this set to me has always felt more heavy than any other chess set I've ever owned. It has more weight to it. I, I don't know why. It like feels like it's made of granite as opposed to these are, you know, acrylic. Uh, these are the actual D&D, &D, the one that go along with the bag, the D&D &D translucent or uh, pearlescent blues with silver letters. 
you have these. I call them the emo dice because they're emo, but they got a little blue in them. Uh, these are, of course, I just did a video of them, the Paladin Role Playing's Demir Drops. That's what I call them. Great set. Fantastic addition to my dice collection. A Chessex, uh, what do I call these? Bloody Blue Water. I don't know. The Paizos, of course. And then the super bright orange tangerines or lemon orange thing. There you go. Coins! I know all of you love coins. So we got some really cool coins. They're pretty much all Pokemon coins with the exception of the chips there. Let's see if I can get these out because I stacked them. Nope, everything's falling apart. Life is lies. Everything is temporary. Nothing is permanent. All right. So we have our professor, not professor, excuse me. These are from uh, Pokemon Regionals 2012 and 2015, I think. Hold on. Doesn't have, oh, 2014, 2014. <laughs> I'm old. These are poison and burn counters for Pokemon. I also have uh, actual poison and burn counters that you get in fat packs. Now, or elite trainer boxes, whatever. I always say glue these together because it's just better that way. And yes, they'll do that. I don't have them glued together because, well, I actually had them in a package. I've never taken them out. I usually toss these out for some reason. I don't know why, but I had them. These are coins I got at a flea market for uh, about a buck a piece. They're Luxor chips. I don't think they're actually good anymore uh, from Las Vegas, but they are heavy as balls. I love using them as uh, scratch-off coins. Really, really cool. You don't actually use these to flip on a wooden table. You will damage the hell out of your wooden table. My phone's ringing. Excuse that. My phone rang because it was a fucking telemarketer who wants to piss me off. Anyway, Pokey coins. Shaman and Jirachi. No, Jirachi. Is that Jirachi? I don't know anymore. I think it's Jirachi. A old, old, a, uh, uh, I can't speak anymore. An old Pokemon League Toys R Us. Yeah, 1999. There you go. That's when Wizards of the Coast owned Pokemon. Uh, cardboard Flip Pikachu. The old fat Pikachu. We all miss chubby Pikachu. Chubbachu, we used to call him angrily. Uh, another old Pikachu coin, but this one's more solid. Again, fat Pikachu. Bring back the chub. Uh, my old Lucario coin. And remember when I uh, did the Lucario, the newer Lucario coin for the newer Pokemon blister? I lost it immediately after that video and then found it again. So look, I got small Lucario and big Lucario. They're like brothers. Don't talk to him or his son or his son's sons ever again. Big coins. So we got Chespin. We got Chespin, but white. We have... Uh, what is that? Oh, it's uh, one of the legendaries. Yvaltal, I think. I don't know. You have that one. Uh, Xerneas, I think. Metagross, which they put into everything. Gengar, or Mega Gengar, which I love. Because he, he... Even John Oliver said his face is just made of rape. Uh, Genesect, I think? Yeah. With his like little Aztec-looking face. Team Magma. It's actually a really good coin. It has a more of a raised texture than a lot of the other coins. That's a lie. It's a shitty coin. Uh, what the fuck is this name? Uh, Diamond Tumor Head. You have a bunch of Pikachus. Look, gold Pikachus and silver Pikachus. Skinny Chews, as some would call them. They need to eat more. And then a Team Plasma coin. Because... I don't know, I just had it. So, more carrying cases. Not really carrying cases, but yeah, these are uh, tackle boxes and like little screwdriver boxes that you can get at a dollar store for a dollar. And they're great at holding dice. Just thought I'd share that. Uh, also, these are also pencil cases. So if you're wondering where these are from, I got, their, I got them in Hobby Lobby a while ago. They're fucking expensive because they're artist pencil cases. But uh, if you're like me and you like carrying around dice, but you want to carry around more dice because you want to show me up, this is a double section. I don't know if I can open this. So it's like this one has one section for dice. Now you have two. And if you want to be a real show off and bring your entire collection, there you go. Then you got that giant fuck off space to bring all the dice in the world. So yeah, there you go. These are really expensive. I think they cost like this was 20 and this was 35. I got them a while ago as a gift. I don't remember. D6s. You thought I was going to say D's nuts. Nope, I didn't got him. So, D6s. Got a lot of them too. So we have our black and pink mini counters. So these aren't actually rolling dice. I don't like when people uh, use these. To, though I guess you could use them roll. It's a personal taste. I don't like when people use these to roll. What does that say? Well, 
Let me bring it into focus. What does that say? Can you read it? No. Hold on. Now, now time to prove my point. Haruya dice. What does that say? Well, that's a one. So, four. You can read them. Use big dice to roll. Don't use these are counters. These are meant to represent counters. Use them as counters. Pick a black, translucent purple. Simic, as I call them, or uh, pearlescent green with pearlescent blue. The Warhammer dice, when I played Warhammer for a very small amount of time. Look, I still have that thing. I think uh, the new edition pretty much took that away. Uh, I don't really know. I've seen a, lot, a few people play the new edition. Looks fun. Warhammer's fun. Uh, I call it Chaos Biohazard Green. I have the B6 set to go along with it. Now all I need is the Polyhedral set, and I have the full set of Chaos Green. And then the Gummy Sharks counter version. Uh, have a lot of these translucent blue ones. Some rando, like, D6s that I've just had lying around. Satan's D6, whenever I want to summon the Dark Lord, praise be his name. Uh, I have Simpsons Clue Dice, <coughs> um, for some reason. These are from a Simpsons Clue board game, which, oh no, these are from the Clue uh, board game. My mistake, Clue only has one die. Yeah, uh, someone just threw out a Clue game at the flea market one time, and me and my friend harvested what was ever, whatever was left in him. He took, like, C's a donut token and whatever and I took the die because I'm addicted elite trainer box counters from a bunch of different sets I won't go into them because there's a lot piss dice for all your piss dice needs we have a this is really old a pearlescent blue and purple d6 set that's missing a piece no that doesn't drive me crazy I've gotten used to it so these are new uh if I can, can open these so these are made by uh, Magic the Gathering or Wizards of the Coast themselves. They are loyalty counters for Planeswalkers. Um, they are D6s though, so you can use them as dice too. But they have the loyalty counters on them, so you can put that on your uh, Planeswalkers if you want to get really fancy. I got them because they're actually cheap. It was $10 for this entire set, which, you know, for a normal Chessex set, like, like this is about $10 too, so you, know, you get a really cool uh, set of 12 dice. Pretty good price too. Really happy with that. How are you dice? Friend Eric Tiernan got these for me. I use these every now and then. They're very good. Uh, you can clearly see the numbers, and readability is one of my favorite things. Uh, these are D6s that I just happened to find a lot of in like a quarter box, uh, meaning they sell the dice for a quarter piece, and I just found a bunch of these. Now, the problem with it, these are from Chessex Pound of Dice. Now, I hate Chessex Pound of Dice because they tend to give you shit dice. Uh, it's just dice that they don't have matches for or that have mistakes on them. And I say that because I have never found a pound of dice bag that didn't have a bunch of dice with mistakes. Uh, let me see if I can find the mistake on this one. So one of the fours, there it is. So this is a four, although it looks like a five. That's because they fucked up and put an extra pip in there. Way to go, Chester. Don't get pound of dice, guys. Like, I know people like them. Don't get them. They're incomplete sets. You get one complete set. Get the Wiz Dice, you get 20 complete sets. They're not sponsoring me. I let you know if someone sponsored me, don't worry. They get they give you 20 complete sets of dice. Chess X Pound of Dice is, to me, a ripoff. I just hate them. These are the Pokemon Dice I was talking about. I have high quality images of these on my Snups account. Again, if you want to see all of those, you don't know, belong in there. These are the uh, roller or the translucent roller dice that go along with the Elite Trainer uh, sets. These are just random polyhedrals that I have. They are they don't belong to any specific set, with the exception of these is it ones, which is missing two dice, which pisses me off, so I just toss them in the I guess the small corner of misfit dice. Right. Whenever I see a really cool dice in a quarter box, I just pick it up. I mentioned those already. The aquamarine blue. When I was a kid, I uh, penciled in a pip onto the dice. It is really hard to erase that. Don't do that. Liquid Hot Magma set that's missing three. Again, it's just a dice I've had for a long time. Got this at GP Washington, I think, or DC or whatever. Yeah, it's a Jace's Toy Chest uh, Life Counter. Good for pre-releases. Not really good for anything else. And then the smaller corner of Misfit Small D6s, which just are random D6s that don't, don't have a home. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention these as well. The Wizards of the Coast Tomb of Devastation, I think it was called. I don't even remember what they're called. $20 set of dice. Um, so I kind of, like, panned these things. I still don't like them. They're $20, and you get some adequate-ish dice. Uh, and yeah, in a metal tin. 
that makes a lot of noise. I, I gotta make this point. I'm sorry. I just have to make this point. So, what sounds better? Or, so here, here you have a mellow. You hear that? You, you hear the joy in that? Oh, that's going, that's going to your mom's funeral right there. That's, that's not even fun, man. That's, look at that's just bad. That's like getting a hundred dollars in the lotto tickets and having to pay them another hundred dollars because you lost so bad. That, oh, that's bad. And I dropped them on the floor. I'll find that one later. My point being, make cases out of wood. They sound so much better than metal. Last part of the video. A big ass set of whiz dice. So here we have the uh, two bag of uh, what do you go? Bag of devourings, as well as the remaining bag of holdings over here. So as I said before, I ended up getting two sets for the price of one. The guy just sent me a new set. This was uh, let me see if I can find the D6 I was talking about. Uh, you can still kind of see the mark. I managed to like sand down the damage on it. But, uh, hey, I got it. So yeah, you see it had like a little poking out piece of plastic in there. I managed to uh, snap it off and then sand the edges down. I don't really use these as a set. You can roll because a D6 could be off center, but whatever. You roll any die from a certain amount of height, it's going to roll fine anyway. So I don't remember the names, so I'm going to make the names right off the top of my head. Princess Bubblegum. Smoky Clouds. Uh, bronze Age. Grass and more grass. We have Twilight Sparkle, not a pony reference. We have Twilight Sparkle, the pony reference. Uh, no, this is Bile. Uh, Basilisk Blood, I think, is the actual name of this one. Uh, uh, clouds, other, bas other Basilisk Blood, Dragon's Blood. I'm awful at this. Uh, oh, wait, what's this fucking one called? Um... Oh, I knew the name. Mercurial something. I forget, yeah, uh, Purple Boy. Uh, we have Twilight Sparkle, the animated series starring real life Twilight. I don't fucking know. We have uh, Fairy Fire. That one I remember. Uh, Other Dragon's Blood. Toxic Bile. I think something Bile. Or Vile. Vile Bile, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Blueberry Sparkle. Um, these are uh, Astral Echoes. I remember these because these are my favorite. Despite the fact that you can't see them, I just love the slight cloud that you get in those dice and the, the way that slight cloud gives you an artificial feel of weight to the die. It's really nice. I like that. Uh, gold. More Basilisk Blood. There's like three of these sets that look the same. I don't know which one Basilisk Blood is. This one I think is Dwarven, uh, Dwarven Ale, which I think is a really cool name. And these are the remaining uh, Bag of Holding sets, so you get like these... Uh, what is this called? Pearlescent white with gold. Or, uh, no, ivory. That's why that's I called them, ivory. Uh, classic black and white. Good old classic black and white. Uh, they're not as stylish as some of these other dice, but you can see the numbers. And they just are classic and good. You have pink orange, which is pink, but as you look at a more hotter pink, like, this is, this is more orange than this is pink, so. There you go. And then the last set for the video, green sparklies. Sparkle. So that is my massive, too big, very big, it's it's sad, uh, dice collection. Oh god, these are heavy. As well as some other stuff. And then bags. Hold on, let me, let me zoom out. Let me make the bags rain again. Bags. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later with more videos, but until then, bye.